Our first week on the road, we headed a little ways out of town to a town called Toowoomba. This town holds Australia's biggest Christian music festival. It's called Easterfest. At Easterfest, we got to do a whole bunch of little odd jobs, whether it be setting up fences, or setting up the kitchen, or just laying down all this pro flooring. We got to just help out wherever help was needed. So the first week while we were here, um, one thing we did was we went to a Easter festival in Redland. Being on crew this time was a completely uh, perspective changing experience and I got to see the amount of effort that gets put in and I got to be a part of that and so I, have, I learned so much about humility and serving throughout um, the week for Easter Fest. We cooked meals for 600 people, all the, vol all the volunteer crew helping out in Toowoomba and that was a great experience still having to um, be in the kitchen for 8 to 10 hours a day. Dressed up in a Superman costume that was about three sizes too small and for about four straight hours I just did this really cheesy spiel to little kids. And across the festival it was really humbling sometimes to have to be on call instead of being able to go and see the artists that you wanted to see but it was really cool and I learned humility through that. It was at a very uncomfortable costume and saying the same thing over and over again was a bit tedious but seeing the smiles on the kids faces and just the joy they got from getting to see Superman in person that just made it so worth it. It was it was really cool. Right after Easterfest, we headed out for another small town called Byron Bay. Byron Bay is a nice little beach town. It has a whole bunch of backpackers coming through it, just a whole lot of individuals living there. That week's teaching was on evangelism, so we got to do a whole bunch of different methods of evangelism throughout Byron Bay. One of the biggest ones was setting up a barbecue and just handing out free barbecue for an evening. Another big thing we did was we went out to a small town called Nimbin. Now Nimbin is known as the drug capital of Australia, so it was very unique. There are a lot of Japanese people that have visited there and are living there for working holiday visa. And I took that opportunity as many times as I could to speak to Japanese people. I got to perform a lot in the park because we had a free barbecue, so I um, Ryan and I performed some things that we personally wrote inspired by Byron Bay and Nimbin. We got to do some intercession up at the lighthouse which is the farthest eastern point of Australia and we just got to see God in his full glory and splendor all around us. So I got to dance in Nimbin and yeah use my art to share God's word and I got to tell my testimony through that so that was really cool but it also opened up conversation. It really opened up my eyes to see that anywhere we tread as Christians is a missionary field. Three of us were able to meet an artist named Roslyn, and we were just able to bless her by painting in her studio and giving her artwork that she said she honored. A really good experience for me to just be able to share the love of Christ to the Japanese people. After Byron Bay, we got to go on the Pass It On Tour. The Pass It On Tour is an outreach that YWAM Brisbane does. They've been to multiple outback towns in Queensland, Australia, spreading the good news and the Father's heart for the people. We went to a small town called Stanthorpe. This town is known for growing a lot of fruit and it's just a really friendly neighborhood. We got to just set up a big tent and have tent meetings every night with different pastors coming in with different sermons. We also got to worship with them and put on different dance routines and such. Another big thing we did while we were there is do a whole bunch of work projects. Yeah, I got the privilege of running from Warwick all the way to Stanthorpe and heaps of things happened on our way to Stanthorpe like our bus collapsed into a ditch and went sideways, uh, people got injured but all in all like running, not that it was a physical thing, also it was a spiritual thing and it was just like, it was a good thing just knowing passing on to our generation like everything that we learned would be a hard thing but yet rewarding and satisfying. Um, so in Stanthorpe I got to lead this um, little dance crew of like young people that were like, maybe 8 to 10 years old. Um, yeah it was just really cool like seeing them smiling and laughing and just, just having a good time. It was really like, I don't know, it was just really rewarding for me. In Stanthorpe we were able to help the local community and our team were able to go to a cattle farm and just set up fences that they needed to do for I think about 4,000 cows. So it was a lot of work and it was pretty intense, but it was a lot of fun serving God and serving the local community. Three weeks on the road was hard, but it was so worth it. 
God moved in powerful ways and taught us so much. Thank you for all your prayers and support while we were on the road. We really felt it. We want to ask you to continue praying for us as we are getting ready for outreach coming up soon. Thank you so much for investing into each and every one of our lives. Keep watch for the more videos coming up soon. Thanks.